Hi, in today's video we want to talk about 7.5 version, just some things about this version in this episode. So one of them are the icons. You can see here nice icons, very colorful. This is 7.4 and this is 7.5, so much better. Okay, let's open and let's see what we have. So let's restart in safe mode in order to reset all my settings. Let's reset to factory in order to have um, a default installation. So by default, you can see this screen. You can choose uh, how you want LibreOffice to look like, the user interface. Also, you can read a lot of tips of the day. We have images, we have explanation over there, and you can read them and learn a lot. Of course, you can contribute and you can submit your own uh, tips. Of course, you can read the release notes. Let's close for now. And let's see one big change in 7.5. So let's go to Tools, Options, Application Color, and from here we can choose LibreOffice Dark. So a lot of improvements have, me, have been made about Dark theme. Let's go now to choose a Dark uh, theme from for icons, and I change to small icons. Also, I disable the proxy for internet to none and I disable Java until I need it. Okay, so now let's play a little bit with this. Uh, let's see the improvements in uh, the design of LibreOffice. So this is tabbed with I C for icons in dark theme. You can choose single toolbar to have a lot of space, more space in order to write. Uh, let's write something. Okay. Uh, let's see sidebar. Of course, you can enable sidebar uh, in all the variants of UI. We have this user interface now with tabbed with tabs um, we have group bar compact so all the functions are grouped here in small areas uh, let's see contextual this is how it looking is looking in 7.5 and let's try to insert a table uh, let's insert you can see on the right in the top have appeared this menu with more icons in order to insert in the table and so on. So if we are in a table, we have more options over there. If we are in text, we have options for text. Let's go to standard for now. And let's uh, go to release notes to see one thing today about bookmark bookmarks so let's go and let's read what is new so we have some uh, improvement in bookmarks visualization let's delete the table and let's insert let's uh, uh, first let's increase the text in order to read better to see better. So now after uh, this uh, word he, we want to insert a shape point bookmark. So you can see it's a line, a simple line. So this is not about a word, it's after this word. Let's go to tools options in order to change the color for um, field, fields. So let's change with Lime. Now we can see better. So this is a visual um, help for bookmark. So now 
if I have a selection of two letters or two words, again, I know that they are beginning between brackets. If I insert again between these uh, two words another bookmark, I have a, two bookmarks with marked uh, as with these uh, brackets here. We can see they are the same, but they are two. Um, of course, we can insert here another um, shape point bookmark. So we have two, we have a mark of them. We can know that we have two. Uh, one bug what I have found until now, uh, for example, if I insert here a bookmark and I am deleting, something is happening with this bookmark, it's looking strange and I can delete with backspace or uh, delete. You can see if I press delete, nothing. If I press uh, backspace, it's creating a new line. Uh, the only way in order to delete this is to insert a space, select a space and delete. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.